Hey guys, Jess from Knockout Print Shop. It is Monday the 20th, doing a plan with me for this week um, in my Ankle Press Classic. So let's get to it. So again, confessing, I didn't really use my planner, this planner anyways, last week, but this is just a peek of the layout. I started to use it at the beginning of the week, but I also run my, as you guys know, I say it's every video, but my traveler's notebook, B6 inserts from So Much Crafting. So I've been kind of going towards that. But I want to get back in a routine of using the Inkwell Press more because I'm super excited about the 2019 versions and the discs. Not a huge fan of the colors, but we can deal with that later. Okay, so we have our routine. Got my little post-it with my weekly to-dos. I need to keep a post-it like in the upcoming week so I can jot things down because I feel like I just end up forgetting things. So let's see. We're going to keep the standard we usually run through um, with the top being uh, today stuff, the bottom half being to-dos. So it looks like I have a lot of green left. I always want to use up sheets before I move on to the next one. So should I do the dark green? I did some of the dark green last week. But I have a lot of these guys. So let's do, I think I'm gonna try something a tiny bit different. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna alternate colors. So I need to do's, I bet you, oh shit. I don't have any today stickers on me. Okay, let's see, I will be right back. Divide. We're gonna try it without the today sticker. We're gonna, we're gonna not divide it in half. Um, Cause I don't even think I have divider strips. So we're just gonna go with a running thing. So we're gonna take Let's go with the dark green because then I can throw this guy over here. Okay, so we have that. And then I think we'll go either alternate or, oh shit, that's not gonna work either. I've already used all of these. I have an idea, so we'll go gray. We're gonna go gray with the top. So I'm just gonna run the to-dos at the top. So usually I put the todays at the top and put the to-dos halfway down, but I'm going to try this because you know one of the issues I keep having with my inkwell is that I don't have this much going on. And then I try to divide it and like designate the top section for like time-based things. And I just don't got that much time-based stuff going on. So whatever, we're gonna try this. Okay. So we're not gonna use the todays, we're just gonna use the to-dos. Got a weekend banner, then let's go here with these. So this will coordinate, because I have enough of these. This will coordinate with the weekend banner. I do still like using these for kind of my top three things. I'm gonna leave Thursday blank. Tell you why in just a second. Oh shoot. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, so we got those down. Okay, so I'm gonna use this and write down my usual. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday are always order days. That's when we print, cut, and package and ship orders. And then Mondays is always like books, balancing books and stuff. Wednesday is always report day. We actually didn't get a chance to do that last week. May or may not be able to do it this week. And then Friday, We'll leave it at that. This is always design day. Whether we release stuff or not just depends on how far we get, but that is that day. Okay, so we got books in order. We got design day, we got this, and we got this. Okay, then let's go with, I wanted to use this for this week and integrate more of the dashed boxes. And I grabbed this from our stash and I think I already have one. I hate wasting stickers. Hate it, hate it, hate it so much. <laughs> There's next, I do have it this week. Okay, so this will work, so then I don't have to waste. I have it on a mix. So I'm gonna go this week over here, and it looks like, not it looks like I know, because I got the, the Amazon version of the planner. There's still gonna be this weekly focus thing. Maybe I should just embrace it and start using it, but um, I wish this was just a running column. So whatever, it is what it is. And then we'll throw a next week down here in gray. Okay, so we have those done. This is actually Lagoon and this is mixed. Okay, 
So we have those down. The next thing is I have I'm on my friend's podcast, my friend John Carroll, he runs a podcast called The Pillars of Health, and he's actually asked me to be on it. Um, we're recording the episode on Friday at 3. So I guess is that a meeting or an appointment? Let's call it an appointment. And I'll use gray. So I'm going to say John at 3 p.m. So that's on Friday. So it's gonna kind of screw up our little usual coffee meeting, but I'll explain to you what we're gonna probably do instead. So I have that. If we have our coffee meeting, I'll just throw this guy here, but I don't know if we're gonna be able to. Just between like working out, orders, um, unless we go get coffee and then I meet with John over the phone. Otherwise, getting coffee late in the day screws us up because we can't sleep. So we have that. Okay, um, let's see. So I have that down. Then I think, I guess I could use, uh, no, I don't, I've really gotten away from using these because I haven't been writing small enough to, okay, let's, to like warrant one line for each to do. Okay, so I actually already did the books. I balanced the account, so that's that. Um, actually I actually have an idea. I can go in here. Let's see. Oh, I need this guy. And I need this. Okay. So today I, um, oh, I don't have the right color. I was going to use this for an email. Ah, shoot. And I don't have this one. I, I, ah, come on. Okay, what am I going to do here? Ah, okay, let's skip that for right now. Okay. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is put in our dog walk. So today was a total shit show. We usually get up in the morning, we go work out, we come home, we make our breakfast, and we get to working on orders. Well, today we got up a little bit late, go to the gym, our key fob's not working for any type of fitness to get in, it cancels itself every 30 days, and the manager's gotta re-up it, so we couldn't get in. And then we're like, oh, we'll go get our English muffins. The English muffin place was closed on Mondays. So I'm like, crap, if we go back home, we're not going to have a big enough breakfast. Now we can't work out. We're like, go to the apartment gym. Nope, they don't have a barbell there, so we can't do our workout. So we decided to go with the flow. And we're like, okay, well, it's going to rain tomorrow, so we'll take the dogs for a walk today. We'll try to go to the gym later in the day, which we hate. But it actually ended up being fun. We went to a new place to take the dogs for a walk. We went out to breakfast with the dogs. And then we're going to try to go today later to work out, which is going to be totally weird, but we really want to stick with Monday, Wednesday, Friday for our workout. So long story short, dogs are getting a walk this week on Monday, on Thursday, and Saturday. We also don't like exercising on Saturday because we just don't. So there's that. Okay, so got that. And then hopefully our workout then will still be today. It's going to be so weird being at the gym <laughs> when... Uh, we're usually not there. So we'll alternate these colors. This is our, I actually haven't used this sheet. This is our like revamped um, fitness sampler with two-tone colors. It's a little bit more interesting. So this is pretty cute. So I'm using this for the first time. So we have that. Um, I also need, does this have what I need? On Saturday, I need to pay ourselves. That's like our payday. So I'm gonna just put payday which just means transfer money. Oh my God, I can't spell you guys. Well, I kind of salvaged it. That kind of looks like the word transfer. Okay, so that's Saturday it will be our payday transfer day, transfer money. So I got that. I do need to do a savings transfer from one account to another account, but I had to link the two accounts and it might not, it takes about two to three days. So I'm hoping by Wednesday, I'm gonna put, maybe on Thursday, I'm gonna do savings transfer because else we'll just be safe and see. Obviously if it happens, um, oh God, now I wrote too big. If the accounts link faster than that, then I can do it on Wednesday, but at least it's on there. Okay, so I really like these skinny labels. These are like, Except for when I can't write and my handwriting sucks, but I like these a lot. Okay, so we have that. We're changing it up this week and we're gonna do grocery shopping on Wednesday. So I think we'll, we'll grocery shop on Wednesday. So maybe I'll use this down here for that. 
So Wednesday is going to be grocery shop day. This is actually how I used to do it a long time ago. And then we're going to meal plan on Tuesday. Keep this with like home personal tasks. Keep this work related. We'll see. Okay. I don't really use garbage day and all these anymore. Okay. I need this guy. And then usually Saturday is our date night. So I'm just going to throw this here kind of. And I didn't end up using those. I might use this guy. Okay. All right. So let's see here. So right now I'm filming the plan with me. So why don't I use, I need, I need a gray box. Where are my box stickers? Let's look through here. I could use that, but I don't like that one. I'm going to use like a solid. Oh, here we go. Maybe use one. Yeah. Oh, we don't have gray. Do I have gray in this one? Dang it. Let's see. I actually don't, my stash, I don't have a lot of Lagoon stickers because it's honestly, I know some people love it. It is one of my least favorite palettes. Um, what are we going to do because I don't have gray? The struggle is so real. Hmm. What do you think? Should we just use green? Okay, we'll just use green. And do I even have a gray version of the foam mm -hmm. one? I do not. Let's see, how does this look? Whatever, we'll go with it. We'll just put some space. We'll just go like this. I usually like to alternate the colors, but we don't have room for that, because I or we don't have the right color. So film, plan with me, which I'm doing right now. So we have that done, we have that done, okay. I have the savings transfer here, and then I need to, well, you know what, since we don't have gray, let's just use this email. So this will be my email. I'm trying to get fancy and I can't even read it. Oh my God, this is what happens when I try to hand letter on a video in my horrible hand letter abilities. Oh my God, that looks like shit. Okay, we need to fix this, you guys. We need to remedy this situation stat because this looks like poo. Um, ah, this may not cover it up completely. Oh my God, this looks like shit. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna just go with it because, you know, it's a planner, let's be real. Okay, that looks like crap. Whatever. So I needed to email um, John. I needed to email Passion Planner. And I needed to email um, one of our customers to her response. And then that's it. So we're going to go. I think we, I think I have these. Which these are too big. I wish I had the smaller ones on because these are like, okay. Freaking human though. But oh my God, stay. Every time I try to change my layout, my phone with me becomes a cluster. You know what? So I'm just gonna mark this off so I don't get confused. I did all of that. Okay, so we have that down. I emailed Passion, passion Planner. So if you are a passion planner person or you want to be a passion planner person, we're actually going to do, we're gonna be doing a passion planner giveaway this weekend. So we're gonna have it on Instagram and it's really simple. You just have to tag a friend in a comment, like us and passion planner, and you're gonna get entered to win five of our passion planner sheets and an actual passion planner. So we will put, I like this functional thing. So we're gonna go, Yeah, we'll go down one. Let's see. So passion planner. Giveaway starts. Okay, we'll use one on Sunday. We'll just throw it right here. And we'll say passion planner giveaway ends. I actually really like those, these um, arrows. I don't think 
like we have these in a full-on sheet. I think it's just in this functional sampler. Okay, that actually isn't horrible. Okay, so we have that. Okay, so on Thursday, minus this horrible sticker I put here, Matt and I are driving down to Wilmington to like check out Wilmington. Um, it's like a little coastal city in North Carolina, a pretty popular tourist destination for people. And we've considered like moving there. Like that was one of the places when we moved here that we thought we were gonna wanna live. Um, we chose Raleigh first because it's more central and just had a little bit more of a, like a city feel. Um, but now we're really curious, where do we wanna go next? So on Thursday, we're gonna, that's our day off, so we're gonna grocery shop on Tuesday, or sorry, Wednesday. And we're gonna go out to Wilmington on Thursday and just like scope it out. So we're gonna have a day trip. Let's see if I can fit this. Wilmington. So it's about a two-hour drive. We're gonna just drive down, take the Mustang, hang out, check out some coffee shops, see if we like the vibe. We've been there a few times, like on vacation. Not we haven't vacationed in Wilmington, but we scoped out the town like when we were on vacation near it. So we're gonna see if like we'd actually want to live there. So that is on Thursday. So that's what kind of threw off our regular schedule but it's kind of nice because we can use this like full day off to do that we didn't want to go on the weekend because it can be super busy there on the weekend in the summer okay so the other thing on wednesday we are doing um matt's gonna do a photo shoot we've like really kind of gotten to know our butcher here up in north raleigh uh southern craft butcher uh butchery i think that's a word and uh, we were like, dude, Matt used to be a photographer. Like, let's have him take some cool pictures of you and like get, we just, you know, we're like helping local businesses and it's cool. So he's like, oh my God, that would be awesome. So we're gonna go up there on Wednesday morning, photo shoot at the butcher. I don't know what time. So I'll have to fill that in later. Look at how much better my handwriting looks there. I think I, I write better in smaller spaces. Um, this is a lot of green. <laughs> just realized that. Um, so that is going to, like, again, our day, our week is going to be kind of weird because of these kind of rant things we don't usually have going on. So we have that. I think that is all. You know what I might do? No, I'll leave it. I hate to waste it. I was going to use this and put, like, as a savings transfer down here, but I think I'll just leave it. Um, so that's kind of it that what we have. I'll start running uh, this week and a next week to-do list. Like I know next week I need to like pay rent, do my budget. I'll fill that in later. But this is where we're at when I have not split the two in half. I mean, basically you look here, this is just a modified version because I didn't use any of this down here. So now I'm not using like this space. Um, that's the one thing with this planner that's hard for somebody like me that doesn't have like a lot of things going on. Like I don't have kids, I'm not in school. Um, you know, right now my life is fairly simple that this planner, I'm still trying to figure out what this size, which I know is not super huge, like page wise, but for me is kind of more than I need. Um, but I think I'm gonna figure out how to make it work. Cause again, like I'm super excited for the new planners and you know, this is what we do is use Inkwell. I just personally, for my life, things have gotten simplified, so I don't always need this. Maybe I need to figure out a different way to do this. Those of you that don't have a lot going on, do you have this kind of situation where you have a lot of white space? How do you use it if you have a simple life? Um, okay, so that I think is it. So that's my plan with me for the week of the 20th, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.